Of course. Uh, people come to me all the time asking me what is the best thing to use for their face? What's the best thing for brown spots? What's the best thing for wrinkles? What's the best thing to prevent aging? There are so many things on the shelves. There are so many ingredients. So what I typically like to do is I like to educate my patients on how to categorize all these ingredients, all these products that are on the shelf. So I came up with this birthday cake pyramid type of classification for ingredients and products. So let's draw the birthday cake and I can help explain to you the myriad of products that are out there so you're not as confused. Oh, this is going to be a very ugly birthday cake, but it's going to be okay. So on the bottom of the birthday cake are the sunscreens. These are the most important things to use to prevent aging, hands down. And the biggest part of the birthday cake is what you should use every day. You should incorporate these things every day. Sunscreen, 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 sunscreen. It's really the only true, true, true anti-aging product that we have. It's been proven to slow down chronologic aging and, and solar aging. Um, every single day, depending on what you want, whether you want a cream, a gel, a powder, you want it in your makeup, Typically, we say between 30 and 60 SPF a day. If you're going to be swimming, if you're going to be on vacation, you should really reapply it every single, every two hours. Um, and you have to wear hats, you have to wear clothes, you really should avoid the sun in general. But if you're asking for just a skincare option, it's sunscreen first, every single day. The next are the peeling agents or the exfoliating agents. And these are, this is actually a big category. It can range anywhere from glycolic acid, salicylic acid, lactic acid, all these acids that peel the skin. You need to unroof, you need to slough the dead skin. As we get older, we slow down the turnover, the cell turnover rate, so we need to increase that. We need to help it out with products. Glycolic acid, like I said, salicylic acid, retinol is very good. If you want to go prescription, you want to do Retin-A. Retin-A is the gold standard in sloughing or exfoliating. It's a chemical exfoliation. It unplugs the pores. It helps even out the skin. It helps with fine lines, brown spots. Retin-A is hands down the best prescription agent you can use. If you want to do the weaker cousin, which is over the counter, you can do retinol. Some people who can't handle Retin-A on the skin can handle the retinol and that's fine, but that's the next most important step in this anti-aging pyramid. Again, sunscreens every day. Next most important is peeling agents. So hopefully sunscreen every morning, peeling agents every single night. The next category are the antioxidants. And the antioxidants are extremely important. What is an antioxidant? It's a vitamin, it's a mineral, it's an enzyme that neutralizes free radicals. And basically what that means is that it decreases the cell damage. The most common and the oldest one is vitamin C. Vitamin C is good, but it's weak. There are newer ones that have come on the market. Green tea is out there. Coffee berries out there. Anything that, that somebody says is an antioxidant is in this category. And those are important, but they're not quite as important as the peeling agents, and they're not quite as important as the sunscreens. But you have to incorporate them. So the way to incorporate them the best would be, again, every single morning sunscreen, every single night a peeling agent. If you want to alternate them with an antioxidant, that's fine too. Some of the brands out there that you know have vitamin C, vitamin E, ferulic acid, coffee berry, and green tea. Next on the birthday cake are the peptides and the growth factors. This is a huge, huge category, but again, it's up here on the very top, almost on the very top of the birthday cake. It's not as proven as the ones that are on the lower half of the birthday cake. It's not as proven as sunscreens or peeling agents or antioxidants, but peptides and growth factors have been gaining favor over the last couple of years. What are peptides and growth factors? Um, anything, any long word at the very end that says oligopeptide, something peptide, those are quote unquote peptides. The growth factors are epidermal growth factor. Anything again that says growth factor at the end. And what these do are these are supposed to reverse the aging in a different way than the antioxidants reverse the aging. They're supposed to help stimulate collagen, stimulate elastin, help the cells stay vibrant and, and, and decrease cell damage. Not as proven, but still very important. So if you want to incorporate them into your skincare routine, you can do them a couple times a week. If you're just doing a peptide cream and you're just doing a growth factor cream and you're not doing a sunscreen, you're not doing a peeling agent, and you're not doing an antioxidant, you're kind of missing the boat. So it's important to kind of know where they fit on, the, on this 
pyramid or this, this birthday cake. The last and the very top on this birthday cake are the telomerases and the stem cells. Again, you're hearing about them a lot these days. They're not as proven as the antioxidants, not as proven as the sunscreens, not as proven as the peeling agents, but they're there. What are they? Again, they kind of help the cells stay vibrant and live longer. Stem cells can be embryonic stem cells. We can have adult stem cells. Telomerases basically help DNA from being damaged. So the DNA, of course, is the information in your cells that keep your cells vibrant and living long. The telomerases basically don't allow chromosomes to break. They, they are enzymes that keep the cell healthy from aging, from sun damage, from pollution, from all that stuff. They're not as potent as the antioxidants, yet we don't, we're not sure, but they probably are in that same kind of category where they will protect the cells. But again, not as proven as the ones below it. So the birthday cake is sort of the aging skincare guideline. What's most important are the biggest bottom ones. They get less and less and less important. Sometimes these will get flipped, or I should say, um, as research will continue, we may see that the stem cells and the telomerases are even more important than we think, but there's still a lot of science that has to be done for us to really see that in skincare.